Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to some Genshin Impact. We've got the, um, food or hotel event ending soon. So we're here to finish that. And they actually added in a new event as well. They're pretty relentless with the events recently. I don't mean to go there. Yeah, we'll do some rolling soon. It's my event menu. They added this journey through hilly enigmatic terrain. So this has eight days left now. The whole thing's not out yet. So I'm not going to do this one until it's ready to go. So we'll have another recording in three days time. In the moment of CCG has updated as well. We're just here to finish friends from afar at least. So we did part one last time. We'll do some side stuff as well. But uh, let's continue this before we go at it. Just getting started for the day, so let's get rid of these expeditions. Oh, I still have two hours to go. I'm actually recording rather early in the afternoon for once instead of super late at night. Okay, we get a free pack. It's nothing! Wonderful. Okay, so yeah, let's continue the, uh, quest here. We'll get this event done and then maybe just do some random whatever else. Whatever else we feel like. We have some time to kill. I have an afternoon to spend. Before I resume my Sheeran 6 addiction later this evening, hopefully. Hopefully. Whoa, lag. Whoa, lag. So yeah, this cooking minigame was pretty simple. Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end. But it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. So it should be plain sailing. Well, just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. Oh, you. have you had someone like that before? Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. I know that voice. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. Farzan! Oops. Uh... Madam Barzan! <laughs> oh my! Traveler, Paimon, whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing! Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please, uh, slow down. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. Then they brought that whole crew over. <sighs> It's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Layla! And... Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Temporary chef, huh? Wow. No rest for the wicked. Well... If the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo S specialties. So, why are you all in Leo again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I 
got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting-edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. Uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Or pine on gas. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> it's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... <clears throat> Farazan, uh, Madam Farazan, that is, while I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to yeah, prepare. Yeah, we'll have the shark fin now, soup I for like $40. You two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Or are we going into, <laughs> That's uh... That's actually a good point. Oh, uh, what's the name of that place? Costs like 50 Not bucks to get in. that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farazan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but why do I feel like I'm being tricked? So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, Traveler! <coughs> no seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. <laughs> but seafood is hmm. so good. I had my eye on a ductus temptation, bamboo shoot soup, and golden shrimp balls. And I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. <sighs> but that could be years from now. Oh, Madame Farazan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? <clears throat> so. Expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Did these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Ugh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? <laughs> this isn't Leoli Pavilion or Xinhua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. <sighs> well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for a 30,000 mora. A fuck? 30,000? But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? All right, just the uh, mora is so quick extorted. doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir-fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. So this dish gets its value. 
you not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise. The circumstance just makes me think of a short video. Probably was a TikTok. I uh, saw on Twitter a while ago. A guy ordered a like... What was this? A couple hundred dollars? Not quite a thousand dollars. A couple hundred dollars steak. And it was a single piece of steak that came in this tiny little container. And I remember he started eating it. And he's just like, this is worth a couple hundred dollars is all I get. It's hilarious. Now don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And if you mess it up, Paimon will still be happy to eat it. Please, Paimon. Have you seen the cooking mini games in this video game? Legend has it that a master chef once made this dish from five different kinds of meat. It speaks to my lack of skill that I can only handle three. That doesn't even make sense. Just add two more meats to the process, my Yan Zhao. Well, I can only handle three meats. <clears throat> Alright. I don't remember the button presses for this, but we'll, we'll see if we can pull it off. Yeah. It was easy peasy, man. They would never make a challenging mini game. The masses need to be able to handle this. The grandpas and the grandmas. I wonder how many elderly folks play Gunshot Impact. I'm sure it's a non zero number. Wow, robbed. See, I never punished for it. I, like, barely missed that. The only thing I like about this minigame is Traveler actually was given some facial expressions to spice it up. <clears throat> Orioles, red, brilliance, mountains upon mountains, stable balance. It just looks like they slapped a bunch of uh, undercooked hot dogs together <laughs> into a lasagna-like pattern. Like an uncooked lasagna-like pattern. And strewn in some... Stringy chili peppers or green and red peppers. Isn't that what it looks like? <clears throat> sure, I, I don't know if changing the plating stuff matters. I did it last time, but I don't think we need to do it. Food's ready! Please enjoy! Ooh, smells delightful! Oh, we meant to ask, have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Uh, did Dory just offer us a free meal? Why did she become so generous? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on, sit down and join us. Everyone, dig in. This dish looks simple enough, and I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe 10,000 mora? This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. It's off by 20,000 mora. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Is this... foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom boar. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of 
Something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! So you've noticed. Yep, every single scoop is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Wait, you needed uh, two, Paimon? So I'm not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh, how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? It was pre-cooked. Um, you see, um, that's a trade secret. That's a trade wow. secret. So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah, Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds. Alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also... The complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. The name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? She's a hundred years old, Paimon. Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? Confirmed, Tevat <gasps> has over 20 languages. <gasps> that used to be a thing? Oh, I almost forgot that you're also from her habitat. So, um, anyway, how much does this dish cost? Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. 30,000? <sighs> the one with the fish story. Uh, about that, Paimon, traveler, I merely invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. Damn, don't worry, you bitch like that. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> yeah! As a famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. Uh, but every single mora matters, you know? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru... I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. <clears throat> Getting into the restaurant business. It's like one of the worst businesses to get involved in, isn't it? Payout turnaround of a restaurant is so low. Profit margins. Uh, I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. Uh, 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 my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Aww. Uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience? Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm with you, Layla. It's all exhausting. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? Uh. <laughs> I should have known you'd see through me. <sighs> Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk about this. 
called out. Where's Father Ruzon? Oh, she's over here. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dory's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. <laughs> Need it, I guess. It works out for everybody involved. We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. I thought this side quest was going to be far more sophisticated than it ended up being. Alright, well, next day. Let's, uh... Advance the day. Uh, not two days. Just a day. So they did release the preview page for the next Genshin stuff. It looks like we have the... Inazum and seamstress lady coming out who seems to be quite popular among the fandom <clears throat> And then we're getting uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, I think I get a second shot at water dragon guy to add him to my team Dado actually roll the dude, but We get a shot at it Right, and the other thing I want to do, we did one of those. Almost enough for dailies. Oh, I didn't check the dailies. Hold up. Swift Slayer. Full suck. Okay, yeah. None of those are important. I have no luck in getting this one quest. Morning. It, it, Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. One of Thanks the achievement again. quests. Like, we need it three times over. I've only gone it once. It sucks. <laughs> Haven't seen it since. Great work! Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Wait, no! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! <laughs> hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, it's not true. We just handle it. <laughs> Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in Liyue, too. Ah, it's always nice to run into a broad and a Zoomin fellow. But, uh, wait, did I say that right? Almost. I think you meant fellow in a Zoomin abroad, boss. Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far from home. Don't we, Ayato? <laughs> oh, whoa, Checker! What are you doing here? Hey, wasn't he just here? Huh? Why is he here oh, again? Hey, Flying Lavender Melon! Uh, uh, the sky cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> and my compadre, too! All my buddies in one place! God, today's my lucky day! Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? How come you're back in Lele so soon? Ah, that could wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing Mora at me. Right now, I got a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good, spicy food. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakato's okay and whatnot. Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could, but alas, it was too late. Wow, dude. What? You missed it? Aw, oh, man, You're what like a bummer. weeks late. Quite the bummer, indeed. Though all is not lost, since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. <laughs> sure thing, my man. But uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef, anyway? Hey, get the chef out here. I got compadres to feed. Yeah, sure, me too. Wait, what? Wow. 
Old Chucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the palace jewels, a trembling strings and rushing reeds, or... Boss, don't forget the budget. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more, uh, down to earth? <laughs> down to earth. <laughs> we're, we're on the opposite end of down the spectrum. Down to earth. Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> you Sometimes a bro just knows. Hmm? A bro the just way knows. he says yes, that. Yes, a bro just knows. <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows. Is this for real? Ah, oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. It's for real. They seem to get along well. Seriously, if I'd blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff. Just launched itself at Bloom Pruner and sent it flying. I'd expect no less of the bona fide Beetle Battle King himself. It sounds like a truly epoch-defining duel. <clears throat> All right, there she is. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so I made some excuses and slipped away. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. Sure. You fill us in later. I'm gonna cook your food now. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, why is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Old Bullchucker can't eat that. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind, I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> no one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito! Hey, wh where's our food at? Hurry up, I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. I haven't even gotten started uh, yet. As you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. Ah, oh, this is a health hazard. You don't serve somebody something they're allergic to just because you're trying to save face. This I never knew tofu allergy was even a thing. Okay, I'll, I'll handle the appetizers. You take care of the main event. I can help too. Don't worry, I'm qualified. I passed Liyue's senior culinary exam once. Uh oh, did you try culinary before settling on law? I should have went back to the top and see if they said anything different. I doubt it, because I think I tried that before and they said the same thing. I press the A button, or the B button, the whatever button I'm pressing, it's being pressed. So skillfully, to near perfection, time so well, to satisfy the developer's needs, wants, and desires. 
Damn, I did it again. They give you six tries. I just noticed the things on the bottom. Six mistakes. It's a lot of mistakes. Look at that smile. So happy. She is so happy. <clears throat> Humbly enough. Those are some really large tofus. <laughs> oh, oh, so this is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo, love me that portion size. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old-timey traditions weren't your style. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Uh... Does Ayato even know? <laughs> I see. Finally, it's my turn. Woohoo! I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. Wait! Don't! Huh? Wait, uh, what is it now? Huh? Okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh... Paimon forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of this dish! Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet! Uh, well, um... Skipping the origin story is like... Like... Going traveling without a tour guide! Trust Paimon, you'll get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tail? And the compadre's goodwill, huh? Well, oh, can't have that going to waste. All right, then. Give me the full story. I'm all ears. No chef explains the story of the creation of the food to anybody. Like with the ingredients. Actually, <laughs> no! Let's start with the story of Wang Xiuin, which starts with the history of Dihua Marsh. Now's our chance, traveler. Man, the tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah. That's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no sad way to tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? <laughs> uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. Uh, oh, compadre, Shinobu, have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Yeah, we Wait, weird as fuck. Boss, but... that's made of... One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang, so they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course. Including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fan, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? <clears throat> All this because you don't want to tell him that it's got beans. Count Crushmore. 
instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu... Yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. Hmm, so what were you really doing, Ayato? You left it so vague. I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. Well, uh, thing is... I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Just because he's here already! No other reason! <clears throat> I mean, that's nice. That he's visiting his friend. Let's switch the A for her jumping prowess. Looks like that's all sorted. All right. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. <clears throat> There's no reason for that to be a big deal. Okay, part four. Out of five, I think. Who will we see next? We've seen Li Wei in... No. Yes. We've seen... No, we saw Monstratians. Or we didn't see Monstratians. It's either Monstrat or Fontanians, right? No, we saw the Fontanian crowd. That was the first one we saw. How time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. Uh, why does Paimon feel like you just jinxed us again? Why do you keep saying it like it's a bad thing? He's literally summoning our friends to come and eat some food. <sighs> we made it all the way to the evening. It ended up being a pretty smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, we were struggling to remember who ordered what. But everything's a piece of cake now. Did we struggle? Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? Uh, actually, now that Paimon thinks of it, Lenny and his siblings came around about this time the first day, didn't they? Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Amber? And you and Mika too! Are you here for dinner? Why so late in the day? We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. <laughs> the original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. He sounds more nasally than before. That none of us have eaten Liyue cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip, so I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? The traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You come at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy his cooking before the original chef takes back the reins. She wow, says. really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. She didn't say her, she said his. So, You're usually really good about get? that. Hmm. I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Eula, what are you in the mood for? Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary night's cooking for myself. I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. I wouldn't say anything mm, goes, something man. Something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. 
Beyond that, anything goes. There's a thirty thousand dollar dish you here. What do you know? Eesh, this is like getting blood from a stone. All right, guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Huh? Then I guess. Eh, I don't really mind either. Anything goes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this is how people be, yo. They just don't ever tell you what the fuck to make. I'm sorry. They leave it up to I you. I really can't think of anything off the top of my Every head. Every single day. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither of them can drink. It's a real pity. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. Ugh, sparkling water. Disgusting. Let me guess where you're from. Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. This is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customer's palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Go on. Show them what you've got. <clears throat> Judging from the look on your face, you've already figured it out. All right, then. Go ahead and show them what you've got. Show them what I've got. Hold up. We'll check this time around. It'll probably be the same convo. <laughs> A different combo. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, one. Uh, I've still got some. Dun, 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 All right, we've got ham. We've got bamboo shoots. Good start, good start. We're cutting a flower now. Exotic. Smile. Always smile at the end. Looks like just uh, like some sort of chicken fried rice or something. Tasty. Delicious! Perfectly seasoned, and even the rice is bursting with flavor. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. <laughs> You've put the finest Favonian field rations to shame, and that's no mean feat. So, tell us, traveler, what's this one called? It's Cubs! Um, Paimon's guessing we can't just call it anything goes, right? Oh, hell, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this dish at all! It's got no name, it's just basic ingredients simply cooked! Basic ingredients out? simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here, or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. Not the finest dish in the world, but the one they need right now! Okay, you've lost Paimon, what do you mean? So you mean... We only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Mmm, there's got to be more to it than that. 
Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Oh, kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh, but Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying Lyric Cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just like, like the chill? feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Comfort? Coming home? Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. So, in other words, the secret ingredient is passion? Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words, I'll remember this recipe. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? Hmm... How about right at home? The rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies. To come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. Still, please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. Sure. I like to eat the foods. Ah, hmm. uh, sorry. I zoned out just now. Didn't see you coming. Yeah. That food you cooked for us just now? It reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me. I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I'd do my outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner, and even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could tell she really enjoyed the food. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. Nice when I can use the environment to get a good close-up shot. Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. Maybe passion was the secret ingredient then too. Stay passionate, brother man. There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here. Take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Call it a bonus. Hard work is rewarded here. Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time and... I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao can do when working with both hands intact. Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just jinxed it again. Shake Paimon, her and her jinxing. So there we have it. That was the uh, food event that we need to cover before the end of the day. Yahoo! Yahoo! Okay, you guys ready for some streamer luck? I get two rolls. Two! Well, it's purple. Another rest, huh? Streamer luck! Aww. Ah, the debate club. What a classic weapon. Always there when you, you're tired of seeing it. I might get another roll once I cash in the uh, daily thing. 
Claim that. Claim these. Claim that. So what do we want to do? Right? I have an entire afternoon. We got a couple hours of free time. I think we get some uh, more exploration done of the new area. Or, 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 or. My cash, one of those, and. So I should have five. Four. Add Astro. Hm. Thank you for comp. So I could explore the new area, or we could try to finish some fucking generic side quests to shrink this goddamn list down. Here, Penny had a dream. Go underwater, see the children. Wait, don't I have, um. This is Sumeru. This is the... Isn't this that sort of big quest inside the temple, or is this somewhere else? <clears throat> the, one, the ones that don't reward Prima should be easier to complete. I have never even been in here. Alright. How do I have a quest leading in here, then? Let's, let's go get that teleporter point. <laughs> Why not? We'll just do some random quests. If they're not worth primos, they should be easy talk and let the dialogue do its thing and then it'll be done, right? Oh, that's a long load. Oh, we loading. We are loading. So much loading is happening right now. Still loading. Okay, we've made it in. Yeah, I haven't even finished this thing yet. Hold up. <laughs> Genshin needs some time to, like, live in the area, for sure. It's feeling a little laggy lately. Maybe all the new content they're adding is starting to take its toll. <laughs> I don't know. Also, there's a thing over here. Might as well grab it while I'm at it. And the music in this area is nice. Yeah, I will have to find time still to do all this other stuff, slowly but surely. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that stuff later. So I'm going to get too distracted. I just want to head into this cave. I don't even remember what was happening. Like, why are we in this cave? Oh yeah, listen to that piano key. Dead he. This must be correlated to what's their name, who I guess I would need in my party for this stuff. Offer plumes of purifying light. So this is like a major mechanic for the area.
I don't even remember when we got this quest that's been so long. So I'm understanding free resources. I didn't mean to talk to you again. I'll just do this one because we're short. Other option. Right, so this is where we take these things, of which I have seven. Different blessings. After six, you will obtain rewards from all the blessings. When you obtain 30 plumes of light, you'll obtain a revelation from them. You need to pull. Now mark out the locations of the remaining plumes. Alright, well, here you go. We've barely even scratched the surface of this one. Oh, that's another pack to open now. See, I really should get around to doing this stuff. Cause I've got I've got packs to open. Now these things, we'll, we'll worry about this stuff later. I just wanted to get the quest out of the way, and we got the quest out of the way. So next thing we can do. Oh, uh, this one's not worth much. So yeah. let's uh, do this one. I've been wanting to hit this quest list for a long time, and it's only getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger constantly. And we're about to get the new version update, which will probably add more new shit than I'm not even fully aware of. Alright, as a lie. stuff back to Raif. Really? He's right there? You can't deliver that to him? And now he does help your people out. I brought the stuff. Okie man, okie dokie. Did I buy too much? Buy whatever you want, yo. What <laughs> one inside here's movement? Trying to join my world. I can watch them for you. Mm, without teleporting, what would be the easiest way up? Isn't there a fast travel point somewhere here? Let me grab some of this stuff. We're in need of these. Alright, we ran around. It's no big deal. 
What's the big deal? He sounds like he has no idea what he's doing. <clears throat> and neither does the woman. When it comes to gardening. But, uh... We'll leave that side story... You know, I won't think about it too much. Alright, the rest of these are worth primos. This one is not. Talk to Zhu Dong and Shin Zhu Forest. Wait, Shinju Forest, isn't this one of the new ones we just got? <laughs> this is the Inazuma Forest, right? Ah, this is the Gourmet Supremus quest line. See, I've been wanting to get this one done because there's a daily tied to these assholes, and I'm pretty sure you need to have their quests done before the daily no starts popping up. Right here. So I've been definitely meaning to look into where we're left off here with the Supremus, but... Just letting the text on the bottom go by, anyone who wants to read it. Dong has quite a bit of swagger. Fighting Kairagi? Why are you fighting Kairagi? Hey, I forgot to mention it a while ago. When I was doing dailies, I was out over here on this island and around here, I think. There's a cave with a treasure chest, and we got an achievement for finding that. I think it was one of those... Follow the directions and figure out... Where the treasure is, sort of deal. Where the hidden treasure is, I just stumbled upon it. I meant to mention that a while ago, but I completely forgot. Still in combat. I have to kill this person. Right here. Right now. Right here. Illusion shut. Yeah, catch us up. I have no idea what was happening with the... 
You lot. This is a story about always eat your breakfast. We're the best. We're the best. See, man, you can hang out with the foodies and get yourself some foodies. Eh? Eh? And everything will be a okay. Ah, that's an achievement. Samurai Gourmet. Wait a second. Let me let me take a look here at my list. If I can uh, open the list. That might have been one of the ones I was waiting to do. I thought it was tied to a daily. Yeah, that is a done one. Alright, so Samurai Gourmet is done. Now I should be able to do meal for two. To survive hardship, you must prepare for hardship. Wise words from the great Coco Mead. Samurai Gourmet. Alright, progress. Okay, well, maybe I'll see you in Sumeru if I ever get around to exploring more of Sumeru.
Clearly, I want the music to kick back on. Those fox statues over there, have I not done that puzzle? So they seem like they're lit. Nothing wrong with the wanderer life. Wander on, Kame. Wander on. Probably be something if everyone could eat well, there would probably be a lot less issues. I think it's this thing, yeah. Memento lens, Kill her. Everyone hold hands. Where are you? Right now. Where are you? Shine down. If you can wear your blindfold, you can change. Maybe I did do this one before. <clears throat> or these don't count. For some reason. Uh, we might have done all this before. It's just been so long. I thought if they were lit up, then it doesn't. Ah, oh, see? I have not done this before. <laughs> I knew I didn't do something here before. I could just tell. Look at this. We've been missing a little guy all this time. Okay. Them. I have no need. Anyway, we finished the mission with the Supreme Modes, with the Gourmet. So that's good stuff. Another home there may yet be. This is also in Sumeru. Why don't we finish this up? And we won't be too much longer. I'll keep this on the shorter end regardless, but it'd be nice to get some of these quests out of the way. I don't think I'm doing any of the major quests right now. Just get these minor side quests <laughs> done. Damn, we never finished one of the <laughs> side quests. even remember what was going on here. Is this part of that weird sneaky mission we did? Not he that turned us into a fungi. 
for some reason. You, you sh probably should just be worried about some random people hunting them, you know? You got all kinds of those mercenary types out and about. Well, all these quests that I left one step away from finishing, because for whatever reason we never finished them up. Is this an interactable? I see everything. <laughs> Maybe one of these times I should go around with uh, Nahida and see what all dialogue I can find. Cause I've never bothered doing it. Not everybody has Nahida too. Oh, I have Sumeru and Inazim and Reputation Rewards. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, let's go to Sumeru first. Cash in these rewards. Doesn't matter for Sumeru much anymore or Inazima. So we've already maxed them out. The grindy way. Still need to finish some Fontanian things though. Yeah, there's a lot of quests to do still. Twenty two out thirty-eight. Let me do something real quick, my stuff is maxed. Let me uh, grab my realm currency and affection points down to my last handful of characters this here. Realm is I think except for a few more. <laughs> We've almost got everybody maxed at 10. And while I'm here, today's Saturday. May as well buy this before I lose it. And maybe get some more of these, because I have so many points. Get some more of these. If you ever... Alright, Inazuma. I don't even remember. Where is Inazuma's thing at? Oh yeah, that's Ayato. Ayaka. And Ayato. 
its residence. Kamisatos, the Yashiro Commissioners. Almost done with Inazuma. Battle of Revenge, Lewis Eel, yeah, Eater, the Phaethon Sirtos, collection of dragons and snakes. Pretty sure this one is tied to finishing the bottom area. Because I still haven't, like, found the books or whatever in Enconomia. I will, you know, get around to doing this shit. I have all these things marked, too. I don't even remember what they are. I'm going to have to re-explore -re this area. Anyway, what other quests do we have that's not main? Is this film notes? It's Mary, Mary, Mary Fontaine. This is the chasm. Oh, yeah. Is that the final fossil? Which I don't know where it is. We'll look for it later. <clears throat> Talk to Garcia. Alright, wash you in thing? Sure. I've had a quest here <laughs> for how long? How long has this one been here? This has to be recently added thing, right? Didn't we just get this one? I don't remember. Garcia. Alright, he hails from Fontaine, so this had to be added when Fontaine was... before Fontaine was introduced. I suppose. Bum 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 ba bum. No, I don't believe in that, Lutong. When it comes to culinary and a lot of things. Drawing. Mechanics. Robotics. Smithing. Any, anything, really. It's not talent. It just takes practice. Takes actual hands on trial and error and failure.
Ironicoe back in this kitchen for another unrelated quest. I want to zoom in on the guy, but I can only get a good view of... You know what? This is the girl we care about, right? <laughs> Don't, nobody wants to see Garcia and this other dude. Clappa clappa. He's been ignoring us. Hey, do you say something about this? So he doesn't know how many ingredients he puts in? I mean, I'm, I'm a big purveyor of this style personally, you just do what feels right, right? But there's definitely chefs that follow strict recipes. It's not like an unheard of thing. I think if you're baking, I follow a strict recipe. But if I'm just stirring stuff in a pan and simmer, you know, and I need to drop some seasonings in there. Two shakes, three shakes, four shakes, whatever you feel like. Want a little extra seasoning? Do you want a little less seasoning? No? Cook it till it looks done? Smells done? Just my feet. I suppose I'll look for you and Sumeru too, along with some of the other peoples. You offering your services for A to B delivery? Hail fire. We'll worry about those later. Questioning Melusine and answering machine. Oh yeah, this thing. <clears> hmm. <throat> Maybe we'll finish this one later because it says Act 1. It's probably more major. These are like the sub-major. It's the blue ones that are more major. But then it's all this stuff here that's not as good. Wang Shan Hall. This is also the UA. Oh, this is one of the new, new, new ones. So we'll probably get to that. Collection of dragons and snakes is the five lost books. I need two more. Divine Bridal, yeah. Valley of Davi, Sumeru, Land of Lower Satek, Sumeru. Help him clean up his nursery. Uh, 
Okay. These we'll, we'll get to these uh later. I suppose. So we got some quests out of the way. How about it? No, Nahita, we know what to do next. We're gonna unlock these travel points, which... I don't remember if they were actually there before. I think they were. Yeah. We we'll probably just skip past them. We're gonna do some more stuff in this area, just for a little bit. Get some of this done. This area is self-contained enough. I'd like to clear it out, kind of like the chasm. And then maybe go back to doing chasm and whatnot. I'll just do this area because the mechanics are in my head. I did not expect to climb up, so I should just went around. Oh, this looks fancy over there. Hold up. Try to get to this. Dun 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 dun. Uh, the music changed twice because there's a, the theme that plays here typically, and then there's a new theme for this area. <laughs> Had to shift that real fast. Oh, it's up there? Oh, shoot. No. Okay, I see a fish thing. We can just get in range of this. We'll be alright. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's grab this real quick. Okay, we have a something under us. Somewhere, right there. Okay, that just takes you up here. And then we got another one up here. So what is this? This seems very fanciful. One of these has an orb while the other ones do not. Can't climb. Hmm. Lop. Okay. This could be a more major side thing. Not sure what I can do with this yet. There's treasure chests here though. Free loot. I like free loot. Oh yeah, while well, I'm here. Uh, let me uh... <clears throat> well, let's change the thing to... Um... This and change this into the... I think this is the leeway one? Yeah. There's treasure below us. Indeed. Gameplay touch. What do we got? Jade Cascade. Really move the jade hairpin she left behind. Move jade hairpin inserted into the right place. Place correctly the sacred spring gushing from the jade hairpin will touch the spirit orb on the stone corp statue and reactivate it. What's happening? So I need water to touch this.
Well, I didn't even need to raise that platform. See, there's a wind tunnel around. Oh, these aren't lit up anymore. Weird carp spirit orb. Curiosity deserves a reward. And then I take that to the statue above, I imagine. Oh, this is a one chest, but there's another one directly below us. Okay, what do you want? Isn't this a platform I have to return something into the right spot? Illusion shattered. Oh, is this breakable? Water Jade. I will have order. Just gonna smash those. This area has so many things and so many little spaces. Certainly worth the extra mile. Certainly. Was this? Why is it highlighted? Beside the Lotus Pond. Like, you want to be here? <sighs> hey, where's your third friend? Just making sure they're not in here, right? Also, while I'm at it. <laughs> not even sure what this resource is used for. Solidify. I will grab some. Hey, I blew this one up. Robbed of a resource. It's like 15 treasure chests are all nearby.
I don't see another owl statue anywhere. I mean, I could keep climbing up, but I'm not sure if we're supposed to. Let's just fight this guy for now. Oh, it's right there. I didn't see a highlight whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was all fancy names or something. Oh, I missed. If only my gun, you did more damage. Perhaps whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. Don't worry, my guy, we'll get you to the lotus pond. <clears throat> wrong with reaping a reward every now and then I didn't realize they actually talk to you again Enjoy your lotuses forever. Gather. Boba, get them. Born of ice and frost. There's nothing wrong with reaping a reward every now and then. That's right. Alright, here's another fish thing. Let me get this time trial done. And I think that's... Everything in this immediate surrounding section for this little area here. Is there a thing I can shoot out of? <clears throat> I'm so lazy about climbing in this game. I'll take any detour to get, did not have to climb. Um, I guess I need to aim for that more. I seldom can tell the difference between the uh, one you have to touch and the one There's you can just launch to. Every now and then. Okay, that's gone. What is this? Oh, am I supposed to do something here? Here, we'll just do that for right now. Gameplay tut. Scenes of flaming lotuses.
so I have to light up all of the Lotus Lanterns. And I cannot be in the water. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Okay. You get a time limit before they unlight. And you don't want to be above them. You can be like below. You need to be on their level. I get it. I get it. Contract. Perhaps. Perhaps. Alright, what's happening over here? Is this some other new mechanic? They've added like 20 new mechanics to this area. It is. Look at this. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. Miasma. Didn't we already have Miasma as a mechanic? So I have to kill a guy. Oh well, wow, I have like music for this. Order guide you. Rise. Transfigure. Nice and spite. Born of ice and frost. And then I have to do that. Take your true form. <clears throat> By ordinance divine. For Rex Lapis. Stabilize. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Okay, I guess we were doing it right. One man's stone is another man's gem. Beat leader, fly into adeptal energy, purify miasma. Where are we on this map? This was all just crammed in the here, Mount Zhuanlian. There's a thing over here by the water. Oh, this is moving in like a wavy pattern. If you were to follow that wavy pattern, could you get a little further out than usual? I don't think I've ever noticed that. Isn't it normally flat? Static, perhaps, is the word? So the wavy. Anyway. Did I help the sand? We did help this thing out. These are just those jump pad guys, right? Didn't exactly <laughs> jump very well. There right, we got one of these things. Oh. 
I don't even understand how this thing is moving exactly. Apparently they're only temporary. Okay. Well, we did it. The extra mile. And something died over here. Oh, cute fluffy goat. Where's the um? Take it we can't swim under this water. Crumble. They've been on point with their new musical tracks, in my opinion. This is long overdue. Do your master's bidding. I will have order. One man's stone is another man's gem. Yeah, I need my music back. Come now. Don't leave me hanging. Alright, we got a thing up there. We got another lotus light over here. We got a thing over there. Do this thing up here first. Yeah. Nice and spicy. Okay, we apparently have two things over here. This probably correlates to this. We can probably do this with just the one instead of having multiple out and about. All right. So they gave us a lot of time for this. Ten, eleven. I even gave you extra things to collect. Well, there you go. We're way behind schedule. <clears throat> Perhaps whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. Perhaps. <gasps> okay, we have two over here, two over there, two over there. But this one wants me to jump. Can I run on the water? Oh good, they moved closer. I think I can get them all fast enough like this. We're missing something here. We're drowning! 
please bring back Fontanian water and make it the standard everywhere. Next on the agenda. <gasps> Alright, how do we do this puzzle? I have no idea. Next on the agenda. Huh. First to grab that chest. We're way behind schedule. Oh, that was not my idea at all. I almost ruined it. Beautiful treasures are a cause for great happiness. Didn't realize that would uh, move upon landing on it and then bring all the things with it. So we got a treasure box down here. It's just not the same. Drowning due to loss of stamina is such a bad mechanic compared to freely swimming <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> this doesn't compare, yeah. What the hell is with this? I don't know. We shall find out though. Reach target location. So it's a time trial, but disguised as a uh, different looking thing. Okay. Well, I'm glad I had enough time to try and comprehend what I'm There's doing nothing here. Wrong with reaping a <clears throat> Into the sun. <laughs> Would they let you swim all the way to Fontaine from here? No, it's out of bounds. Or is it just not mapped? Right, it's not the red. This is blue. It's not red. I questioned that before. There might actually be something out here, but... I don't know if we can get the boat, because I sure as hell can't swim the whole thing. Doesn't count as Fontanian water. I imagine it doesn't, anyway. Next on the agenda. Yeah. Born of ice and frost. Wait, that killed them. Stabilize. <laughs> <clears throat> By ordinance divine. Yeah. Boba, get him. Order guide you. Who are we trying to kill? Oh. Like nothing. Blaze over. Perhaps whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. Perhaps. So I am most curious about exploring this watery area. Yeah, it's not blue. I need a boat. There is a zero boat anywhere.
Unless that's a landmass I can reach. Beautiful treasures are a cause for great happiness. Could do an ice and fuse Sayu real quick. Probably nothing out here though. Where is a side quest that leads me to uh We're way behind schedule. Something. And this is Dead Zone. Wah, game. Player, we don't want you here. How about we explore that area later? Any other goodies over here? So they let you fly around this mountain, but it turns all dark and gloomy. It's a way of telling you don't do it. Next on the agenda. You think they would put anything out here? Or is this just an intermissionary area? Between the uh, connecting content, seems very empty out here. There's a thing in front of us. Oh, this is where you guys are. I didn't realize you were this close to uh, over here. So this counts as Sumeru. You know what, so I don't forget this spot because it could be important later. This seems like a spot I should uh, mark. <clears throat> Although with that mission icon, I'm gonna think it's something that uh, I can do. But there doesn't seem to be anything I can do. <laughs> okay, then uh, 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 we'll just keep checking the outskirts of this and see if there's anything new added. We're way behind schedule. It's about three o'clock. I can wrap it up here. We did a little bit of things, just a little bit of things. That's all well and good. We'll get another recording in a few days time once all of the uh, hilly trail event is ready to go we'll do that and then i'll probably just do more of this if i don't tackle some of the other quests we'll just do some area cleanup Not sure there's anything else over here. We might have pretty thoroughly done this back part of the island, which is good. I like to wrap things up. I have four more orbs to collect for this like floating fish platform. Which I suppose I could turn the one in. Uh, we did do that. I'd have to see if anything is on the mountain area there, but... Doubt. And 
we did this. Surprise this thing, uh, we're standing still, but it self turns off after a few seconds as though we were moving. This counts as a treasure chest. So we got that collected. <clears throat> Anything else? Nice view. Now you can see the Fontaine port, sort of. See that damn pyramid? Let's see Sumeru's tree. Let's see the Jade Palace. The floating island in the sky. The uh, floating pillar over the snow mountain. I forget what this one is here. I don't know what that is over there. I don't even know if that's in the game world. Yet. What is that? It probably is. Not as far away as I think it is. It's by like the first mountain range. So maybe it's something over here. Mount Ling Meng. <clears throat> anyway. Where's that fountain at? Ah, we found a spin crystal. Through pure luck. Radiant spin crystal. And I can choose which one of these I put it in, huh? So I need three more of these things. Two more? Two more of these things. There was another one nearby. But I think I'll worry about these later. A little bit of farewell here. I've had my fill. So for those of you who enjoy the Genshin journey, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good one. Well, uh, let's open some more packs. We've got enough. I'm trying to get more yais to up our yais. And if we fail, it just pushes me towards uh, Water Dragon Boy when he comes out. And we failed. I expect nothing less. Anyway, you all have a good one, as always. I'll get this. We'll get some more Genshin time in soon. We'll keep it short, too. Uh, I don't know when I'll do, like, a major Genshin push. Probably eventually. Eventually I'll get around to, like, another long knock-out-a-bunch-of-content thing. But, ugh. Oh. There's just always so much more to do, and there's going to be so much more to do come the next update, even.
prophecy in Fontaine. Oh, no.